All right. It seems like Chow Cho is alone in peril. Let's see what we going to be doing right now. That sentence freaking died. I can't believe he actually let me go. What game is he playing? Perhaps I can try to warn the Cloud Knights. No. Perhaps I can just escape. Hmm. A faction with a cold expression gazes at Chow Chung. There is a sharp pressure to the gaze, carrying as if a warning to the healer that says every clever little thought you be might lead to severe consequence you will come to regret. Oh, Just so as I suspected. He's testing me. Continue to watch the Cloud Knights must have been aware of the situation inside the Shackling prison for some time. Will General Fei Xiao personally lead a squad to capture Hulei? For now, I'll do as he asked. So basically, optional search for help and send news to the outside. But we are obviously being watched. So if we do anything out of the ordinary, like say go talk to those people and ask for help, we might die or something bad might happen so i think we should just continue to the port and just not us talking to them i do it with a butt but um it's an obvious um thing that shouldn't be done curiosity killed the cat you know nothing seems out of the ordinary in the harbor you're filled with anxiety are you a chest weird though huh Oh, it's probably there. Let's just pass through the cloud knight. Make sure he doesn't notice us. Because if he does, he knows what we look like probably. So we should just keep going. Yeah. Let's talk to him. Stop asking. I'm off duty now. Go bother someone else. Damn, who's still you? You snuff a familiar scent on the foxy and pirate. May Can't I ask you just why? Stop asking. Damn. You're not one of us, but I smell a familiar scent on you. Mm -hmm. The warhead your boss? sent me here to check on the situation. Have the cloud knights closed the port? No, not at all. Instead, the Skyfaring Commission is clearing routes to prioritize star skiffs heading to the Sky Splitter. This will make our ships more noticeable when we try to escape. Ah, that makes sense. The ports haven't been closed. So they just can't leave. What is going on? Yeah, what the hell? That is, that is whack. Stalling won't help. It's time to confront Hule and see what tricks he's up to. Okay, Hule. What is going on, bro? You're back, Jiao Cho. Yep. You were closely watching me, weren't you? And if I sought help from anyone, I freaking knew people what... would kill them. Was that your plan, Hule? <laughs> oh, exactly as you said. So, have the Cloud Knights closed the ports? That's kind of messed up. So we just saved lives. No. Hmm. They don't want to publicize my escape. I understand. It's no surprise. For fear is more deadly than claws and fangs. Especially during a festive time like the war dance. What lurks here is not a group of fugitives, but rather a pack of wolves amidst the flock. My cubs are hungry, ready to feast on flesh and blood. But I was oh, so metal for real. What the hell? Your calm facade will soon crumble. I can tear through it and expose your pathetic bones any time. There's no escape from me, Jiao Cho. Man, I don't of feel course, bad for bro. You can try your luck and believe that your wits will save you. But remember, you're not the only hostage in this city. If you try anything funny, innocent people will die. 
because of you. Now, yeah. let's talk about the Foxy in general you serve. Mock Talk says she's here for me, which means she'll be hunting me herself. Before the hunt begins, I need to know my opponent. You can refuse and play tough, or you can cooperate and save us both some time, healer. You know what? The team, I think he should be brave, but he is cunning. Yeah, he is a cunning fox, so I'll just stay in character. The tall man stretches out his finger and touches his shoulder blade with the movements of the dog. It's as if the dagger has cut away a piece of flesh and... Jesus! Good. At least you didn't try to draw attention with a scream. That way no one will die in vain. So he's being strong. Fine. Respectable, I'll tell you what commendable. you want to know about her. But I expect something in return. <laughs> what makes you think you're still in a position to negotiate with me? You can torture me until I talk. Or... Let's save us both some time. Warhead. Here's the question that's been bothering me. How have you managed to survive and endure centuries of torture? Borison aren't supposed to live that long. Or possess such regenerative abilities. Oh, that is kind of interesting. So, is that why the Shen Zhao Yao Ching wanted to take me away? <laughs> oh, to some, I'm a hostage, but to others, I don't I know about you guys, but his voice has some sass to it for real, for real. Oh, I still remember. In the early years of my captivity, the Foxians came and went. They extracted my blood and marrow, trying to unravel the mystery of Moon Rage. They wanted to conquer their fear of the Burison and free themselves from their bloodline. Unfortunately, they failed to uncover the secret. So, they resorted to the most brutal punishments they could imagine. Hmm. Some seek power to destroy their enemies, while others seek power to become their enemies. Which one are you, Jiao Cho? Ah, I see. You're the most pitiful of them all, Hilo the Yao Qing. You seek power to share it with others and do good. Damn. Well, then let me tell you the answer you seek. Oh, okay. In our ancient legends, Duran, the ancestor of the Borison, was dissatisfied with his limited lifespan and power. He yearned to dominate the skies and become the master of all the stars. To achieve his goal, he sacrificed the lives of countless Borison and Foxians, pouring them into the spring bestowed by the Master of Immortality. Through a form of genetic sorcery, the water gave birth to a miracle. The Lunar Embryo. A baby moon? ascended the birthing bed and obtained what he desired. A heart in the shape of a deep red full moon. Ah, okay. He cut open his chest Jesus. and replaced his original heart with this crimson moon. Yeah, it, it, is, it sounds like a myth. But only I know the truth behind every word. So you're saying you have that moon in your heart? This moon heart beats within the body of every generation of the Borisim Warhead. In the ritual that decides the new Warhead, 
the successor cuts open the previous warhead's chest and consumes the divine heart, thus possessing it as their own. Oh, devouring is the true essence of life, allowing us to endure and thrive. It gathers the life essence of all the prey we consume, making us stronger and stronger. Oh, she... I thought all hope was lost after seven centuries of torment. But now, this heart is beating once again. <laughs> all right. Now it's your turn to but tell me just everything, everything about the Merlin's claw. He puts his claw. cock on the table for everyone to see for real. Jiao Cho, I found you. Oh, Mozza, you're very good at tracking, aren't you? Alright, we're returning to ourselves. Nice. Huh, this was a story. Two duel hours before the war. I know I'm in no position to question your orders, but... So it would have been a lot longer if... You um, already have intelligence about the Borison? I... That's right. My people are busy collecting the extra stuff and got now. those people killed. What's the situation, Mozza? General... We completely lost contact with Zhao Cho. I picked up a oh, so you never found him yet. It won't take long before we locate their whereabouts. So what is happening around the same time? That's the case. Shouldn't we immediately go there and join forces to eliminate the Borison? Why are we returning to Stargazer Navalia? Looks Other like your general has only taught you swordplay, not the art of the hunt. There's an old saying among the Borison. In the forest, the hunter may easily become the hunted. While we may call ourselves the hunters now, chasing them blindly will only make us become the prey. Bex, how can Ule possibly hunt us down though? Are you joking, General? He's just a wolf who's been in prison for seven centuries. Even with his accomplices, they're no match for us numerous lawful cloud knights. How could he consider us his prey? Do not uh -huh. underestimate the enemy. Hule is not an ordinary Borison that can be easily killed. The advantage in numbers means nothing when we face that monster. A vicious beast who hasn't tasted blood and flesh in seven centuries is now lurking on the streets of the Lafu right before the war dance. Yeah, the fact this that he isn't is eating is crazy. This is what makes the situation crazy. treacherous and unpredictable. To him, the lives of ordinary people are just meat. Ready to be devoured at any moment. Exactly. That is why we must succeed in our first strike, or the situation will spiral out of control. You've heard of this military tactic, right? When you surround your enemy, leave one site open for them to escape. A skilled hunter must be well prepared, waiting for the prey at the most advantageous position. Where do those go Borison want to go? Stargazing the Alright, I see, I see. Yeah. What would we do if we were the escapees from the Shackling prison? While we can disguise ourselves and blend in with the crowd, we don't plan on staying here for long. In this case, what do we need most now? A star skiff to get us out of the Lafayette. Yeah, so they come into Stargazer the and the we discovered it's Stargazer Navalia. Navalia. We're what actually hell? preparing a vessel for their escape. We predict their next move, and we take them down. Be it. We start from where you found those Borison and corner our prey. So we just need to find the Borison. Cool. Anyways, if you guys like this video, like, see, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.